Hello guys, welcome back to Raj Tech India. In this video, we will learn about how to transfer your shares from one DMAT account to another DMAT account. Here I am transferring my shares from Jiroda to Upstox. To do that, you have to register under CDSL Easiest Facility. I have already made a detailed video about that and I will provide that video link in above iCord or at the end of the video. So just click on that link and watch that video. Once you register in CDSL easiest website, then you need to log in with your username and password. Once you log in, then your home page will look like this. And to transfer your shares, first you need to add a trusted account. Only to trusted accounts you can transfer your shares. And remember, you cannot transfer your shares from the trusted account to easiest registered DMAT account. And if you want to transfer your shares from the trusted account, then you have to register that particular DMAT account again into the CDSL easiest facility. How to add trusted DMAT account? To do that, go to miscellaneous option here and click on edit trusted account option here. When you click on that link, then this space will open. See here, I already have one DMAT account as a trusted account. And to add a new trusted account, click on add trusted account option here and enter the DMAT ID of that particular DMAT account and click on submit and it will take maximum 24 hours to approve your request. After approval, you can see the status as authenticated by DP. Once you see this status, then you can transfer your shares to this particular DMAT account. And if you want to remove the trusted ID, then click on remove option here. After adding the trusted account and if you are transferring the shares for the first time on CDSL easiest website then you have to change the pin to do that again go to the miscellaneous option here and click on change pin when you click on change pin then you can find an option to change the pin and this pin is mandatory to approve the transfer request and if you remember the old pin then you can enter that old pin but as a first time user you don't have that old pin to create a pin, what you have to do is again go to the miscellaneous option here and click on reset pin. When you click on reset pin, then this space will open. Here you need to answer the security question which you have set while registering for the CDSL website. After entering the answer, confirm it again and click on submit. Then your pin will be sent to your email ID. After receiving the pin, enter that pin under world pin field. And you can set a new pin here and the pin should be alphanumeric that means you cannot add any symbols only you need to add characters on the numbers after entering your new pin again re-enter that pin and click on submit after setting the pin then you can able to transfer your shares to your other DMAT accounts that means the trusted DMAT accounts let's see how to transfer your shares to a trusted DMAT account ID to do that go to the transactions option here on the menu bar and click on setup Click on OK here. Once you click on setup, then this page will open. Here click on bulk setup. Here select sell as an option and here select the execution date. I am selecting today's date. It is 22nd March. And here you need to select the counter BO ID. Here you can see the registered trusted IDs. Here I have one trusted ID and so I am seeing it. After selecting the trusted ID, there is no need to enter the remaining details here. Now come to the ISIN details. Here you need to select your holdings. That means the shares which you have in your DMAT account. Now click on this plus symbol. And here you can see the account ISINs. And to see your shares, click on account ISINs. Here you can see all your holdings. Here select the particular stocks which you want to transfer. For example, here I am here I'm selecting Hindustan Unilever Limited share. I want to transfer one share of this particular company to another DMAT account. So I am selecting this ISIN symbol. After selecting the ISIN number, enter the quantity. That means how many shares you want to transfer to your another DMAT account. Here I am doing it for the demo purpose and I want to enter one quantity. And there is no need to enter the consideration amount here and the reason for trade you can select it as a gift. And there is no need to enter any remarks here. And there is no need to check any of these boxes. Now click on OK here. After adding the ISIN details here, now click on verify option here and click on OK here and click on OK again. Now again check this box and click on commit option here. Once you click on commit then a one time password will be sent to your registered mobile number and email id as well. Now enter that OTP. 
After receiving the OTP, enter it here and click on submit. Now you need to enter the PIN which you have set earlier. After entering your PIN, click on OK. See here you can see the authenticated successfully. Once it shows authorized successfully, then within one or two days, your stocks will be transferred to your another DMAT account. So this is the process of transferring your shares from one DMAT account to another DMAT account online. I hope you like this video and for more videos like this, please share and subscribe to Rajtok India.